Rangers lead the way. Hoo-ha. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, a little bit of a retro review here, but because I got it on the Black Friday deals on Amazon, I got Black Hawk Down in 4K. I even risked that horrible French on it. <laughs> but when they said they were going to do a 4K conversion of Black Hawk Down, that was a movie that I definitely wanted in, as a 4K film. The conversion was done very, very well. Uh, the depth in the detail does admittedly show a few CG things that were very, very obvious. Um, they haven't aged the best, but they're, show, they're so short and they're so not in the foreframe that it doesn't matter. The conversion all, the, all together is great. They do have the theatrical and the extended version, which I've watched the extended version on DVD so many times that I don't know what the theatrical part, like stuff that was cut out, because there's so much essential parts in the film that I don't know what could have been cut now from the extended. Black Hawk Down is, I would call kind of the Band of Brothers movie in terms of casting because there's a lot of actors in this movie that went on to become pretty big guys. For instance, Jamie Lannister is in this movie. He plays one of the two snipers who were awarded posthumously with the Medal of Honor, as well as Tom Hardy. This is Tom Hardy's first movie. I did not know that. This movie actually shows off how short the dude is. He's not a really tall guy, and this movie full on shows how short he is. The film follows the mission to take down several high ranking warlords in the Somalia area after a 300,000 death genocide due to starvation was being carried out by this warlord hierarchy, Adid. They thought that to capture these guys, they would be able to find Adid and help reestablish order to the Somalian area. Unfortunately, when they went in, two Black Hawk helicopters were shot down and this film basically follows what these Rangers and Delta Force special op guys did to save the survivors, recover the bodies, and get everyone back home. I read the novel after having watched the film several times and well, the movie gets as much as it can write from the novel. The f one thing that isn't as detailed in the film as it was in the novel was the convoy went around the city way more times. In the movie, it kind of looks like they go around three times trying to get to the first crash site, but in fact, they went around something on like six or seven times. Every single person in that convoy was wounded or dead when they eventually went back to the base to re-up, regroup, and get head back out again. The one really good thing, but also the crux of this movie, is there are so many great actors really greatly portraying all these different characters. Ian McGregor, Josh Harnett, Orlando Bloom, Eric Bana, Jeremy Piven. There's all these different actors doing a fantastic job in this film, and some of them are in it for such a short amount of time. For instance, Mr. Fantastic, because I can't pronounce his name, he's in it for about maybe two minutes, and he's out of the movie. And that's how it is with a lot of these actors. But this also relates to the problem that there are so many great actors in this movie, but because you see them for such a short amount of time before they go into the conflict, and then once all the shooting starts, the makeup is pretty realistic. They all look the same. They're all covered in blood, mud, dirt. You can't tell who's who, except for some pretty big actors. Like, uh, it's easy to see who Ewan McGregor is. It's easy to see who Josh Harnett is. A lot of them start to really mix together and look very similar, and it's only because of repeated viewings, it's only because I've read the book, it's only because I've watched this film so many times throughout my life, I was able to connect all the stories together this time. There's little story tidbits that I was never able to connect before, because there's just so many different characters and it's so hard to follow. And that's something that was commented on was, it's difficult to follow these stories because they're so short and because of how many characters there are. And that's the major, that's the biggest complaint you could have with this movie is that you only really get the whole picture of this movie. And it's because of how little time we have with these characters. Josh Harnett technically is the main character in this film, but even he, doesn't have that much screen time. But eventually, after having rewatched it several times, it is so much more empowering to see these characters and their stories. The action in this film is incredible. Once the shooting starts, the film is essentially a two hour long gunfight. And the special effects department must have loved and hated this movie. The whole production must have been such a immense challenge to do this much. They shot it in Morocco because obviously they can't, you know, shoot it in actual Somalia. 
but there was a lot of stray dogs that would keep on coming onto the set and actually Ridley Scott liked that because it helped kind of give more authenticity to the film. And this is a film that came out in 2001, so a lot of this shit had to be done practical. There wasn't that ability to full in CGI. So there's a lot of helicopter movements that are done practically. There's a lot of military and background, uh, Somalian background that are real. There's a lot of effects that are real. They're done practically. And that's something that I really, really appreciate about this movie is it's, it's dedication to authenticity and it's portrayal of these armed forces and the dedication and the camaraderie that they had and the absolute loyalty they have even to their dead to get them home i do enjoy this movie i love black hawk down it's probably one of the most respectful films about military soldiers i would definitely recommend watching it i would definitely recommend the book too because the book is very very good it does have a lot more uh, elements that the film obviously was not able to talk about but in the end i'm going to give black hawk down a six out of seven that's because this movie has aged so well for me over the years i thought that maybe the 4K conversion would just help its look. It wouldn't really, you know, the film might have aged in certain ways, but it hasn't. It is so good, despite it, the fact that it is almost 20 years old. So I would definitely recommend this if you are a fan of uh, military films, if you're a fan of true events, especially regarding to military matters. But it's a very, very good movie. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.